Hello, um, hi, welcome, thank you for joining me today. Um, I am Barry from Matusu Crafts, and today I'm gonna to show you how to be making a, a little home decor um, piece using the Daisy Delight um, stamp set and punch, crackle paint and the crackle paint background stamp and the window box finlet dies, which is uh, sadly, unfortunately, leaving us in June 2019. So in a couple of weeks, well, about, well, just over a month's time, isn't it? About six weeks, five, six weeks time. Um, so this will be leaving us, hence why I'm doing this video now. So if any of you like it, then you still have time to purchase it. So yes, yeah, so I haven't got a finished project just of, of yet, because I'm going to make it live for you. Um, but obviously you can see the pictures of what the finished project will look like soon. So I'm going to crack on, because I don't want this video to go on too long. Um, I want to get, I want to just, Get straight down to it, nitty gritty, and get crafting. Keep try and keep it under half an hour if possible. We'll see. There's a there's a challenge for me. Um. So yeah. So as I mentioned, you're going to be using the Daisy Delight crackle paint, window box finlet dies, um, and the coordinating punches, and obviously some ink. There's a few techniques going on. I'm sure. Obviously, if you've got big shots and everything like that, you're gonna you're probably gonna have the stuff, some of the stash in there. You may not have the put the punches and the dies. But the little bits which I'll be using, the embossing paste powders um, and so on like that, I'm sure you'll probably have at home. If you don't, you can obviously purchase them from us um, via our online shop. So, and I'll pop all the links down below for you if you do want to go over and head over to our shop to purchase any of these bits and bobs. Alright, so I'm going to crack on and we will go from there. Alright, so I've already mounted everything up, so I'm just going to pop these to one side. I've kind of done the, quite a bit of the prep work beforehand all right so what you're going to need is you are going to need one piece of um in total you're going to need one piece of sahara sand cardstock this is going to make up the the box and the neck for the for the vase you're going to need some scrap paper um to attach the flowers onto and you're obviously going to need a couple of pieces of whisper white as well i reckon around about two and a half pieces of whisper white because you actually need to stamp and punch 32 daisies um, which is going to be like this i've already done these um because you don't want to see me stamp and punch 32 daisies um in total you need 17 daisies doubled up okay so 32 in total and we'll give you your 17 um which is great. All right, so I'm gonna crack on and do what I can, and we will go from there. So we'll just put some bits to one side. So what you're gonna to need to do is you are going to need to take your Sahara sand here, and what I want you to do is I want you to trim this along the long edge here at six and a half centimeters, all right? Down like that. This is the bit which you're gonna use for cutting out the base for the vase. This bit here is gonna be for the neck, for the flowers, okay? So it's at six and a half, and we're now gonna cut this at 19 and a half centimeters. Okay. Sorry, this is all in centimeters for you. It's, so what's that? That's around about eight and three quarter, sorry, seven and three quarter inches approximately, but 19 and a half centimeters. So six and a half, 19 and a half. And you would obviously need this part as well. So I'm just gonna get my notes and you're gonna want to now do this as a six and a half square. No, five and, so this is where, 5.8 squared, so one. It's so a 5.8 millimeter squared. All right, and you'll need this part as well. These two pieces over here are now rubbish. Can be used for scraps for later on. All right, so that's, I'm gonna work with the collar first whilst I've got all of this out. Um, so I'm gonna do all the scoring and then I'll do all the embossing afterwards. All right, so we will just change this over. I want to score at 4.7, 4.7, 9.4, 14.1, 
and 18.8 centimeters. Okay, rotate it round and then score this here at six centimeters. Okay. So you can see that there, I've got my 4.7, 9.4, 14.1, 18.8, turned it round and scored at six centimeters to give me this little half, um, half centimeter bit down the side here. Gonna leave that to one side. Now on the this bit here, I want to score it at 5.3 all the way around. Okay, one, two, Okay, so you get that one, so it now looks like that. All right, so scored at 5.3. So the measurements are quite precise on this one here, so you, which is why they're point millimeters, because it needs to be quite precise, because obviously it needs to fit the window box. Um, so it, we kind of dictated a little bit by that, um, the measurements on the window box. So that's the collar and the lid part sorted there. What I'm gonna do now, is I am going to grab my big shot. So apologies for this. This is probably going to wobble just a little bit here. Um, and I'm going to take the window box. And I'm going to take this die, which is out of the window box kit. All right, let's put those to one side. And we're going to go in, and what we're going to do is with this, we're going to line it up. Let me just move this out of the way here, so you can see. So we're going to line it up like that on that part, die cut it there, and then we're going to then turn it round and then die cut it over here. All right, so let me just crack on and do that. one and I obviously didn't run that through all the way and um, because it didn't cut that last little bit so I'm just going to reseat that back in it's not a problem never goes a lot right when you do things live does it when you're recording things Okay, so I'm just going to reseat that. And I'll make sure I run it all the way through in one sweep. That's better. Okay, so there's one. And then using the second part here, I will just do that one. And there we go, second. All right, that's actually all of the die cutting needed for this. Let me just get rid of the big shot for you. Alright, so you've now got these two pieces, this piece and this piece here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bit of a bit of embossing. All right, so I'm gonna take some scrap paper and I am going to 
bring out my crackle background here. And I'm going to do this on this bit of paper right here. So I'm just going to ink this up. I'll see the good thing with this crackle background is it's random. So if you miss little bits out, it's not going to make too much of an issue. All right. So I'm just going to do that bit there. And then I'm going to do the bottom part. that part done. Grab some white embossing powder here and just chuck that on. Don't be scared, just chuck it on and see what happens. All right, try not to knock the tub over like I nearly did. And there we go. And with fingerprint marks in there as well. And we can get rid of most of those. All right, so there we go. So that's that part. I'm just gonna put this back into my container and then do the next part. All right, so let's grab the second part. Up my background once more. And, and there we go. And I'll do the same. That's that one. I'll do exactly the same. Let's um, chuck some of this powder over the top of this. So this is just normal white embossing powder. There we go. And that's that part there. So let's put that to one side. Let's decant that back into my container. That's good. And then one last thing where obviously we want to do the um, we want to do the the neck. All right. So just one last time, ink up your crackle paint background or any background obviously this is really quite nice actually for it and I'm just gonna do half there and And because there's no real pattern to this, like I say, I'm not worried about lining it up too much because it doesn't really matter. Um, it just works because you don't need to worry too much about lining it up. So you want to be careful, but not you don't need to be worrying about it. All right, and then I'm just going to chuck my, paste, my powder over the top. There we go, and that's that last part there. All right, so um, let's just finish that up. In we go. Good. So that's my embossing powder paste. Sorry, I couldn't want to say embossing paste. Embossing powder done. Now I'm going to heat set it. All right, so I'm going to grab my heat tool. 
so it's going to get a little bit noisy so just bear with me whilst I do these three pieces. First piece. Second. third there we go all right so that's those pieces all prepped and ready to start construction i'm not going to worry about doing the lid um because you don't necessarily need to do it because that's going to get covered up and the, the flowers are going to get stuck to that so i'm not going to worry too much about that one there but obviously these parts are going to be on display okay so um right let's crack on so i'm going to do a bit of cutting into this so let's do the neck first all right, so oh, next got caught. So we will fold and burnish all of these pieces first. Okay, so fold. Um, see, burnishing whilst you've done some embossing is a little bit difficult because it pulls it off. So we just need to be careful with what we do. Okay, and then I'm going to do a little bit of cutting into this here. So I'm going to basically take out this corner here, and then I'm going to notch in and notch in. So this is on the score line. So corner, I'm going into this, going up to the score line to take these parts. So you can see what I'm doing that part there. And that one there, and then just take off that last bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a little bit of glue. So obviously it's quite good to get this part stuck down so it's ready. A little bit of glue along the along that little tab right here, and then just fold that down, and then just let that set up. All right, before we move off. Okay, 18 minutes so far. I don't think I'm going to get this done in 15, in half an hour. <laughs> All right, so you might be in for a bit of a long haul. Um, so there we go. So that's my neck done. I'm going to come over onto the box lid now. So I am going to, again, fold. And burnish. On all four lines. If you're when you're doing this yourself from scratch, obviously the flowers will take you a long time. So you want to say you'll probably want to set yourself side aside a couple of hours for doing this. And I'm just gonna just notch in. I'm not not taking any tabs out on this one. I'm just just notching up or cutting up. Obviously, this is quite fiddly because it's quite a small lid, and I want a little bit of glue on one of these. Now, one of my cats is just about to walk straight over. Mini, no. <laughs> I 
attention seeking. All right, and we will start to construct. So just hold that in place. And what I would do is just give yourself a little bit of time. Just make sure that it's all, it's stuck. Try and square off these edges as well. That's it before we move over to the next one. So a little bit of glue on this tab. It's normally Tommy that tries to sit and get in on the videos, but for some reason it's Minnie today. Must be coming close to dinner time. What is the time? Okay, 25 past six. We've got an hour to go, but she's, she's attention seeking. <laughs> That's it, we'll do that one there. You whoa, and she's just jumped on my. <laughs> Okay, well, if you could see what's just happened, she's just going to jump on my back and she's now sitting around my shoulders, which is why I've just had that, I made that noise. <laughs> Let's do a naughty. And the last piece here. Luckily, I'm used to her sitting around my shoulders and crafting, so it's not too much of an issue. <laughs> All right, and that's that last piece. Right there. All right, so if I've got my measurements right, that lid will now fit on top of that box, like so. All right, so we can leave that to one side just to set up and dry, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move on to the construction. Now I've got this little diagram here, which I will try and post up if I, if I remember to. All right, so we're going to say this work on... We don't need to cut anything off of this one here. This one here is exactly as it is, all right? But this one on this on one of them, we need to cut off these two tabs here and we need to cut off a middle section all right so I'm gonna cut off um, actually I'm gonna do this one here because I missed a little bit off here so I'm gonna cut this part off here so you're basically cutting off there's a you can see if I bring that up closer you can see when you die cut it it actually puts the score lines in anyway so I'm just cutting along the score line here to, to remove these tabs. So that's those two done. And then on the inside part here, you can see there's a score line here and there's a score line here. But I don't want to cut on those score lines. I kind of like want to come in, I would say around about five millimeters in, so half a centimeter and cut up. So we're about half a centimeter from this top score line here and do that on the same on the other side and then I then want to then cut across all right so that's now looking something along those lines there all right so good Let's put that to one side. I'm just going to have to get this cat off of me, actually. Bear with me. Down you go. And there she is. Minnie, come on. There's only so much I can do if they're crafting on top of me. Um, so there, that's it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to construct all of this. So I'm going to fold and fold all of these score lines. Yeah, Minnie is attention seeking. Jay's not home from work yet at the moment and he's got a little bit delayed tonight, so she's hassling me instead. Okay, so that's those tabs done. And she's gonna try and jump on me again. No, Minnie, disappear. One. 
like so. All right, and oh shit, and that fold down there. And the last one. So you're now like this. Right, now I need to remember how it all goes together. Um, okay, so that's it. So glue on this tab here, so the one which is on the bottom down here, that's it. That there is going to, a little bit of glue on that tab, like so. And then slot it in to that, like there. Okay, so you've now got two pieces have now become one. There's a song there, but I'm not going to sing it. Okay, and what we pretty much want to do is, oh, I didn't fold those pieces over. Um, and that bit there. Mini, come on. That's it. Okay, so everything's now folded over. I would probably recommend doing those before you cut that part out, actually. That was a little bit harder to fold than because it's flimsy. So fold all of your lines before you cut that set that part out. All right. And now all you want to do is just go around and construct the box. So on the tabs some glue and then just go around and stick everything together All right so just take your time with this part because you want to make sure you've got nice neat edges all right so i might fast forward this part on the video i'll see um how it goes a little bit of glue yeah There's no real method to this. Just work your way round. You're gonna get sticky hands as well, so be prepared to get a little bit messy.
Okay, all right. So that's your box now constructed. Now there's a few other things. We need to cut a few other things away, but what I'm going to do is I want this to dry up first um, before I start cutting things so I want it to be a little bit drier and a bit more secure before I start snipping into it. So I'm going to leave put that to one side so we've now got that our lid is drying we've got our box which is drying and they're now ready to go so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the construction of the flowers okay so I'll pop them to one side so again what you need to do oh, is grab this you need some scrap paper and you need your trimmer all right and I want you to cut, so obviously this is where this our stamping up trimmer is really handy. Obviously, I'm, sadly, it's leaving us in June. Um, but you want an A5 piece of paper, oh, sorry, an A4 piece of paper. You want to pop it in along the long edge, and you want to cut a one centimeter strip off. Now, you want to cut four of these, four one centimeter strips. There we go, so that's four. So that's all you need, so you don't need any more. Okay, and so we're gonna now stick this part together and let this dry up. Then I'll move on to the flowers. All right, so we want a little bit of glue in this, roughly in the center of one of these. And I'm gonna stick that down. Like so. I'm eyeballing this roughly where the center is. Um, if you want to, you can actually get your tape measure and ruler out if you really want to, I suppose. Um, let's see how close I am. So that's 21, so I'm looking at 10 and a half, um, maybe a few millimeters out, or about half a mil out. So, yeah, I'm between nine and a half and 10 and a half. Maybe it could be a little bit over, but I'm, I'm good, it's good enough. I'm happy with that. And then, so that my centre point, another little bit of glue, and stick that on, like so. And another little bit of glue there, and stick that part on, like that. Perfect. All right, so that's that's the construction part ready for the flowers. I'm just going to let that sort of dry up for one moment. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring in, so you want to get your Whisper White, all right, and I'm going to do this in Highland Heather. Now I've used Highland, I've used several colours. I've got Highland Heather, um, Poppy Parade, Soft Sea Foam, um, Coastal Cabana, We've got several colours here, so but I'm going to do this one in the Highland Heather. So I'm going to stamp two daisies here. So one here. One here. All right. And put that to one side. I've got some Daffodil Delight cardstock here and... Um, oh, and the cat's just got on me again. All right, and I'm gonna just gonna get my oven ink. All right, so I'm gonna be using pumpkin pie here, and I'm just gonna stamp one of the center parts of the daisy. Yeah. All right, so that's good. So. Using the half inch circle punch, I'm gonna punch out my middle of my flower, which is there. And using the daisy, I'm gonna punch out my daisies. Obviously some exciting news. This is carrying over into the new catalogue. So you'll be happy to know the daisies are coming, still gonna be around. And we have a new daisy as well. We have so same 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 style. But it's now a smaller daisy, so you can they're gonna coordinate really, really nicely. Alright, so there's a little bit of a little bit of a sneak peek for you. And I'm gonna just put a little bit of glue on one of those daisies here. And 
seconds. Pop that in the middle and a little bit of glue in the middle there and pop stick that center piece in okay and I'll let that go to one side and dry up so what I've done already I have actually already done all of these um, daisies already so what I would recommend you do is once you've done that you want to grab yourself like a little bit of the, the piercing mat um, you want to grab yourself a ball tool and you probably just want to just center in like that just to push up these daisies so if I do the one which I've just done it's not quite dry but I'll give it a try um, oh actually no I'm telling you lies first we don't we want another step we want to do first grab your bone folder and round off your leaves petals that's it so that's now curved up like so now grab your ball tool and now go in the middle and that kind of like just shapes it a little bit there you don't want too much shape on it but you just want a little bit there just so it doesn't look too flat all right so there is my flower done now i've already done i've already done all of these all right, because you don't want to see, well, I was already taken 40 minutes already to get this far, and you now don't want to see me doing 32 daisies. So I've already done them. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to grab this part here, now that this is nice and dry, and I'm going to start to, let's just, I'm going to get them all out. So see what I've got. So I've got... I've got five of my Highland Heather, I've got four of the reds, and now I've got four of everything else, that's it. So the Highland Heather one I'm going to start with in the centre. So a bit of glue here, and stick you down like that. And I will just go around. Try not to worry about this too much, as in with getting things even, because you'll you'll probably just drive yourself crazy trying to match everything up. So just do as best as you can. I know with the Highland Heather one, the one where I've got five of the same colour, I know I went on the corners. Like so, all right, and then I just started just bringing some of the other colors that's it, and just fill these in. So work in the middle and then go around to and then go, go into your middle ones. Like so. And now obviously you can see I'm trying to work out so I don't get too many colours close by to each other. Um, Have I worked this out correctly? Let's see. One more there. Um, let's go with that one there. Oh, I've got two coastal cabanas next door to each other, never mind. And got that one right there. So that's that. I'm just going to leave that to one side for the moment. And we'll come back to that one. So what I'm going to do now, this has had a little bit of time to set up. All right. I'm now going to, you can see we've got the top here. So I've got this one tab here. 
and now I need to create these tabs. So I'm just going to snip in from corner to corner here to create four tabs. And obviously, if we want to, we can probably just notch in and notch in. All right. So there's my four tabs, and what we're going to do is we are going to take the lid off of that. Going to pop a little bit of glue on this one, this one, this one, and this one. And we will, it doesn't matter that will still fit on that. So put those in. And we're now going to now so it's the other that part and we're gonna just slide this on, fingers in, and then just attach and hold. Alright, so there's gonna be a bit of glue spillage out. I use obviously used a little bit too much there. And then work your way round and then just stick those on to the inside of that box. Alright, and the final one. Obviously this will take a little bit of time to glue up and set up as well. Once the Tombow holds though, it gets going. Let's just turn that excess off. So you just want to just sit here for a second or two just to just hold those up. And just, just keep on rotating it round and just sticking it all down. Eventually it will grab. And there we have it. There is that. They can go in. So the re now you could obviously attach the lid so it's a close thing. But what we did, we did these as a little Easter gifts as well. Um, and we filled it with chocolate. So that, And obviously it acts as it was a weight. So there's my lid, which goes onto that. So there is my vase with a nice neck and a lid. All right. So what you could do if you wanted to, you could stamp a sentiment and pop it on the front here. I'll do that off camera and I'll finish that off, um, I'll finish that off afterwards to go on the front. But if we just finish off this box here, so I'm going to grab some soft suede. I'm going to grab a dauber, all right, and I am just going to just distress the edges of my box. Okay. So I'm just going to go round on all the edges here. Doesn't need to be tidy, just finish it off. So yeah, so if any of you, um, whilst I'm doing this, if any of you like what you've seen, please, please leave us a comment down below, and I would appreciate what you think of this. Um, I would also, obviously, I didn't, I haven't mentioned this yet. The orig originally, I saw some a lady, another lady. Now I can't pronounce her name because it's a French. She's a French like demonstrator, um, and she did something w like this with the window box, which gave me the inspiration to do this and she did something where she put some kind of hand cream or some kind of um I, i'm not sure she did it so it's something sat inside and then i've just adapted it um to go on now i will pop her name and details on the blog for you to have a little look at what she did now apologies uh, I, I can't pronounce her name i tried i tried looking and i, I can't do it <laughs> so I will give you credit in writing. 
Obviously, and I've just adapted it and turned it into the vase, but now her initial idea of actually doing something different with this is where this inspiration come from. All right. So, yeah, so if you like anything you see, please shop with us. Um, again, I'll pop all the links down below for you to, to head over to our online shop. All right, so there is the finished distressed box. All right. Um, what we're going to do now, obviously, this would all make sense. This technically... Is like this is now a net <laughs> and all I'm gonna do drape it over the top so I'm gonna pop some glue in the center part here and I'm going to Stick my lid. So as you can see why I wasn't fussed about embossing the lid, because it was gonna get hidden anyway, and stuck to that. So I'm gonna stick my lid to the center of those flowers. Turn that over. And then, tap that so you can't, it's really difficult for you to see this. Um, And I've got a spare flower there. I'm going to use that one because I've got a spare one. Actually, bear with me. I'm going to get some foam pads. Sorry about that. Just wanted some, dim some dimensionals here. Because instead of glue, so if you're going to do this, you're going to want to have 18 flowers. All right, so a bit of dimensional in the middle here. And another dimensional. So I'm going to stick the two dimensionals together, like so, to give it a little bit of double height. You can see what I've done there. And then that there is just going to sit on my top flower, like that. So that's it. Okay, Jay's just come from, from work, which is good, and the cats are happy to see him. So there we go. That there is my finished vase. All right, and what I'd recommend is you pop a you pop a um, a sentiment on the front there. See, it's really difficult to see, so you can see what I've done there. All right, so I've just added that netting over the top and that will sit beautifully like so. Right there. And a sentiment at the front. I will add that on afterwards. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, yeah, sorry, it's taken me 20 minutes longer than I wanted. I wanted a half an hour video and we've got a 50 minute video. Um, I will try and speed this up a little bit if I can in um, in the editing, but if not, um, sorry about the silence parts earlier on. Um, but yes. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, remember, shop with us online down below. If you've got any questions or comments, just please leave those down below or, or just send us an email and we will um, we'll do our best to help you out and answer any questions you may have. All right, thanks very much for watching and I will be back very soon with another video. Thank you. See you soon. Bye.